Hey, what's up guys? It's Austin here, or Luna. And I don't know if any of you guys could relate to this, but have you ever been to a party? And I know there's gonna be those comments now like, dude, I literally sit inside and play Roblox all day. No, I haven't been to a party. Anyone else that's been to a party may think they're cool in the real world, but in the gaming world? In the Roblox world? I'm the alpha male. Bitch. <laughs> okay, anyway, back on topic. I don't know if you guys have ever gone to a party where someone just gets like, so full of themselves, they start to just like, show a huge ego. Like, I've seen girls and guys sometimes get, like, so drunk or just, like, so good feeling just off of the vibe that they're getting that they start, like, saying things they wouldn't normally say. Like, and that could either mean really, really nice things about you or just being a complete jerk to you. Like, one time, not even one time, this has happened so many times. I have this one friend where every time I would go to a party and he was there, he would just be so happy in the moment that he'd come up to people and just say nice things about them. Like, there were so many different times where he'd come up to me and be like, hey, Austin. I'd be like, what's up, man? He's like, you're awesome, dude. I'm like, thanks, man. You're awesome, too. Five minutes later, he'd come back. Hey, just reminding you, you're awesome. Like, he's just like that kind of guy. And there's other people where they'll drink alcohol and be very, very quick to either be happy or aggressive. And I've seen a lot of the aggressive types where they just get drunk or like high and they immediately just say like kind of egotistical like jerk things and there was this one girl about seven months ago i met at a party with a friend of mine me and my friend went to this party together we got there we knew a lot of people from the party we were talking to them and we got introduced to this one girl through one of my friends and she started talking to us and one of the first things she tells us is that she was a porn star she's like yeah i'm a porn star and like i make money through the industry and she was very very drunk and she was like being pretty loud and just enjoying herself and it was funny, like she was like telling us about what she did. And then she says, how does it feel that I get fucked and make more than you make in a month? Ha ha ha, suckers. Like right in front of us. And I was like, okay, she's just drunk. Like her ego's coming out a little bit. No big deal. People do that all the time. Like people will get drunk and they'll just say like mean things or like just things they wouldn't normally say. So I didn't really care that much, but I did laugh. I thought it was funny. And I was like, that's not true. And she's like, yeah, it is. Like you probably work at McDonald's. And I was like, okay, look, I'm in the video industry too. I didn't know if you knew that, but you see, I don't have to take a dick to get a check. And that made her very, very angry. Like her face went from all happy and like I'm rich and I'm a porn star to like looking at me with pure hatred in her eyes. Like it looked like she wanted to take an Xbox 360 controller and shove it down my throat. And I was just like, I'm just kidding. It was a joke. Like I didn't mean to make you mad. And she's like, you're not funny. I'm a professional at what I do. And I was like, okay, I know. I know. I wasn't trying to say that you weren't. I didn't mean to offend you like that. I was just saying that I don't work at McDonald's. And she's like, yeah, you're not funny. And I literally was just like, I know, I'm well aware of that. And she's like, good. I'm like, okay, sorry. So the night goes on, right? Like that pretty much ended there. And the night goes on. A couple hours later, she's even more drunk. She's even more loud and having fun and doing whatever she's doing. And she comes up to me and my friend and goes, hey, my phone died. Can one of you call me an Uber? I'll give you cash. And my friend's like, yeah, for sure. And he takes out his phone. He opens up Uber. And my friend goes, okay, where do you want this to go? And he hands her the phone, and she puts in the address, gives it back to my friend. And he goes to hit confirm and call the Uber, and his debit card gets declined. And he's like, oh, damn, my card got declined. And she's like, look, man, like, you don't have to make excuses. Like, you'll get paid back if you buy it. I'm clearly rich. Look. And she takes out, like, some cash from her pocket. And my friend's just like, I'm not even trying to make excuses. My card literally got declined. Look, I'll try my other one, though. And then he tries his other debit card. And while he was doing that, she literally just says, F you, you liar, to my friend who was trying to help her get an Uber. And he's just like, I'm literally trying to help you. And then he goes, look, it worked. And he holds his phone up and it shows that the Uber was confirmed and that it's like five minutes away. So his other debit card worked and it went through and it was paid for. And she just does this fake smile and goes, thanks, honey. And she reaches and pulls out a $5 bill and gives it to him. And the ride was $8. So like she didn't even pay him back fully for what it costed. And yeah, after she gave him the $5, she just walked outside and started looking for the Uber. And I was just lost for words at how mean she was to my friend. Like, I don't know if it was because of me standing next to him, but like, she was so mean to him. Like, he was literally just trying to help her get an Uber, and she was just being mean to him for no reason. And yeah, then she scammed him pretty much. And he didn't seem to care. I was like, yo, like, I'm sorry. Like, she was super mean. He's like, nah, it's all good, dude. Like, karma will take its course. And I was like, maybe. And he's like, yeah, what goes around comes around. I was like, yeah, true that. And then like five minutes goes by, right? And he pulls out his phone, and he shows me the phone, and it shows like the Uber on the trip to wherever she's going. And it says like five minutes remaining or something like that. And he goes, watch this. And he swipes up and he cancels her Uber ride mid trip. And what that does is if a driver is driving you and then your ride gets canceled, they have to pull over because they're not getting paid and either kick you out or have you make a new trip. 
And since it wasn't even her Uber account, it was my friend's, he canceled it and immediately gets a call and he answers it. And it's the Uber driver. He's like, hey, did you just cancel this girl's trip? And the driver just goes, well, could you make a new one for her? He's like, no, nah, I don't want to. She's mean. And I'm just like, no way my friend is that savage. And like, he's just sitting there laughing. And you can hear her in the background of this guy's phone, like in the backseat of the Uber, yelling at my friend. She's like, he's a scumbag, F him. Like, he did this on purpose. And I almost felt bad for the Uber driver. Like, the Uber driver was just like, can you please schedule a new ride for her? And my friend just goes, good luck. And he hangs up. And I don't know what happened after that. I'm sure the Uber driver probably just, like, had to have her get out of the car and, like, call her own or, like, get a ride from a friend. Or he might have been nice enough to just take her home for free. But that was just insane to me. Like, my friend just didn't care at all. And that's kind of mean to do to somebody, but she was being very mean too, so. But that was basically the end of the story. Like, a porn star got trolled. If you found the story funny or enjoyed it, please leave a like on the video. Leave your stories in the comments down below. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys all later. Peace. I can't find the time, you can't find the time, maybe we should quit joking, uh, I can't stay the same, I can't play a game, I am fresh at the tokens, uh, I will follow you to hell and back, but lately I don't know where you're going, uh.